Okay, mate. Tyson's Factory 372 Husqvarna. Now this is a big bore, and I want to find out what the ignition timing on this is exactly. So I've got a stainless steel rule um, screwed onto where the um, air horn goes, just there. And I've marked out timing marks on the wheel here, so uh, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So I'll put the timing a lot in this. I've just looked at the battery on the um, bench, it's not charged up. So I can't do that today, but I'll do it tomorrow when it charges up. So I can actually work out um, when this thing fires and copy this to the G372. So I'm going to start this up for the first time, um, second time around, um, before the highway um, cylinder and part of the chrome to come off the bore. So I'm going to fire this up with the time light tomorrow, but I'll do first up now. But after this, I'll get the um, MS290 um, um, back together. So I just finished um, babysitting me grandkids. There's always something to do, guys. So I just uh, I'll go aside. Just wanted to share. I put that there the way it is. Because if um when I do the um G three seven two, it should bolt in roughly or well, basically they're identical. The clone it should be identical. So that screw hole should be the same. So then I can locate um, um numbers back to their flywheel and get the timing numbers exactly the same as each other. But uh, funny thing, uh, this um, flywheel being factory. The cylinder here actually rubbed on that flywheel. Or well, the flywheel rubbed on the cylinder, but I had grown that back off. Uh, I've done it twice to actually get to it. Pretty tight. Times wise. But I'm holding up all the wires and stuff out of the road. Good time. Um, I'm going to put the uh, pull start on here. I can't have the, the other um, guard in here as well. But um, just so I can pull that off. Once it starts and pull the top of the time lot in there, I can't afford any of this crap to um, hang there. Well, hopefully, I'll get the time and light done tomorrow. Hopefully, let's start it up. Go outside before it's dark. Okay, let's get Tyson soil quick start up. All I do is make sure I can run this thing in the shiv out, smoking myself out. Um, there's lubrication in the cylinder from putting it back together. Um, pre lube, um, this junk oil. But um, I'm going to make sure I burn all that crap out. It'll come out there a bit smoky. Look, just like usual. Just like usual. So, we'll do that. Just. Uh, That's a factory door, so it's pretty quiet.
because um, I don't want to damage it. I'll use a blue one, and if I break something, I'll break the blue one, too, off a uh, thumb tick. But um, this way, if one looks, just to make sure she starts and runs. Make sure she's not too wet inside here. First start, guys. Always a bit of a time when you go, is she good or bad? Don't my eyes up. This particular um, saw. Right, now I can do the tiny light and the fly wheel. Let's see how she goes. I'll have to make sure everything's um, right inside the shed, but um, yeah, all I'm mucking around bars, stuff, I can get all the way shit. But anyway, I'll get it done sick. Hopefully. Well, that should be the right angle for you guys. I'm going to hook up the um, tiny light now. I'll work out what the angle the dangle light so you guys can see. So put the sensor towards the spark plug, that's the arrow on the sensor, just the sensor. Get out of the road of the fly wheel, get out of the moving parts, don't want to hit anything. I'll pick up the um, electrical pulse off the spark plug or the coil. Now I've got power to that, positive and negative, over here, so red to positive. That should be live now. So all I have to do now is start um, and get it the row. Now I've only got three screws on this thing. Um, three's all I need to start. So I'll start it up. I did start back up again. Um, I lowered the oil just a tiny bit. It's a new motor. It's most of the set off. So I'll get you here. And I'll bring you back in when I get um, to the point that I can show you the time of the light. So uh, it's a white light, so it should be good um, light to see what's going on. But I'll zip it off with this thing here. I'll pull this off out. If you've seen it before, this it has to come off while the motor's running, so it's quite dangerous. If you're going to pull it off straight and pull it out, don't bend it or anything like that. You'll hear your pause and pull your hand off. So I'll get that set up for you guys. Get you down the road. This is one of those things you got to do quickly. Yeah, I'm not going to run too much. So I should, I should be able to do it when I'm armed then come here today. I uh, moved my son's house. Help me move my son the other day. He's home. Got a new house now. But, um... It just upset me, I'm gonna wipe me, um, left arm. Try to start this. Sitting on 24 degrees. The torch and check that. Where's my head torch? Uh, my other torch then. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Bang the gear. I've got another torch. I've got torches everywhere. Have this one's charged up. So, bring it back around. 
That's ten. Ten the mark there, black mark. We'll punch through it over. There's the the degree wheel on the you know, say if you're um your crank pointer, that's ten degrees, twenty degrees, and it's on top of the hole, so that was twenty five degrees. I'm pretty sure it was just before that, so twenty four degrees. And I thought the time would have been a lot more than that, so there's a bit of an eye opener. But I'll restart it again. Um make sure it is on that um twenty five, the trend, twenty, twenty four. Make sure it's on the hole. And not the next one up. The next one up is um, 35. So, this big iron's here. Sorry, it's hard to see things and talk and explain. That's better. That's 10, 20. I think it's on that one, 25 degrees. So, just before, it'll be 24 degrees. So, I'll put this back together and start up again. Mightn't try to do it without screws this time. But it's warmed up. No, I better not. I'll screw it back on. Just at least one or two screws. Turn this stupid thing off. I finally went, I got, didn't realize that one did that. The torches these days seem to be like on, off, flash. Most, I just want to talk to you guys on or off, not all, half a dozen different bloody things. I'm trying to make everyone happy. Everyone's happy they can see in the dark, it's all I'm looking for. What's the crap? Making everyone happy. Trying to make the minority happy. Make the majority of people happy. happy. You guys know what I'm talking about. Drill. I'll pause you guys. It's back on. Okay, got it back together again. Um, if you need a new channel, I'm Australian. I've had a stroke while I talk, while I talk. Right, um, start this back up again. Pass the oil. I got two screws, one there, one there. So it's easier to pause. Circle. I can torch. It was like 24 degrees, guys. I've, I checked these measurements best I could. So I would roughly say 24, 25. So it was sitting right there on the timing light, which to me going down a bit, it's 25 degrees. So that's factory 372 Husqvarna. So I'm wondering now, pulling this off and putting it on the G372, will they have the same timing or they're trying to get power out of, um, out of ignition timing? With these guys getting power of the actual tying numbers on the cylinder. So, yeah, big interesting thing. So, I wanted to know. A lot of muck around doing this, guys, but it's worth knowing how their timing goes back to Husqvarna. How their timing goes back to the clients. Are they same, similar, or completely different? I've noticed some of the small Chinese saw their timing advances by itself. I read this one up. It didn't, it didn't advance at all. So, it's a black coil, um, as you can see. So, no timing advance, but yeah. So 25 degrees, so I will be um, checking um, the G372, doing the same setup, the same procedure. I use a, um, a manual um, degree wheel at the back there, and t t turn around and measure, mark, measure, mark, measure, mark. It's a pain in the ass. When you're around at 20 degrees, the magnet wants to pull the flywheel out of your hand. So you got to um, look very careful, but after 20 degrees, 30, 40, it's easy. Um, the little Chinese saw about 30, 40 degrees, so... I thought they'd be around at this 234, 32, something like that. But yeah, 24, 25 degrees. So yeah, big interesting um, thing. I have never checked one of these guys. Now I'd be like to know. Um, the other sword I got down there is a, a 365 special. Now they've got the same crank, but I wonder if they've got the same coils. It makes me wonder, or the same flywheel. I mucked around my 064 still once. And the coils and stuff are completely different for them. There's uh, different coils in the flywheel, different coil. Yeah, no, timing is one of the things that 
unless you can measure it, you can't really do much to it. You can advance, but you got to know what, how, how much you are advancing and why are you going the right way. Like that um, G466 I've got, I think I need to retail the time on that, but I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to um, put a uh, base gasket under the cylinder with the big wheel kit, and I want to, um, that'll retard the time just a bit. Um, it also retard the compression. But anyway, guys, 20, 25 degrees, 24, something like that, for a standard 372 XP. All right, guys, thanks for watching, as usual. Over and out.